Hello everyone, this is James Peterson here, and today we're going to be talking about SmartArt Basics, using SmartArt for your PowerPoint presentations. Specifically, I'm going to talk about creating, formatting, and animating your SmartArt. Now, what is a SmartArt? This image here is one type of SmartArt, and it basically not only lists the words from your presentation, it also shows a relationship between words. So you can see that I'm going to go in a step-by-step -step process from creating, formatting, and animating. But you can also see that I'm starting small and it's getting bigger. And that's the basic idea of smart art, that you're not just communicating words, you're communicating the relationship between words. So quite often I see lists that look like this, continuous improvement cycle, but I see this list and I don't really see a cycle here. Why not get rid of the list and actually have an image that looks like that? Now it looks like a cycle. Even better, why not animate it so that you can talk about each item one at a time? So plan and you can define, do, define it, and so on. Um, quite often I see really complex lists in a PowerPoint that looks like this. Why not again create it into a smart art because this is a process. Now still that's a lot of information to come up at one time. I would prefer that you animate it. So why not this? Today I'm going to talk about the DMAIC process. The first step is define the goals of the improvement activity. And then you can take people through each step of the DMAIC process. Smart art is really useful for creating complex diagrams quickly. Something like an organizational chart. So for example, here's the organization for Fuji Heavy Industries. The Guma Manufacturing Division makes Subaru cars. Utsunomiya Plant makes aerospace products and Echo Technologies. And Kitamoto Plant makes Robin engines. Typically, I use smart art with other objects. I have some clip art here, and I'm gonna put my smart art object underneath. So there are five steps in making a car. The first step is stamping, next body construction, painting, assembly, and inspection. Some smart art allows you to add images as well. Um, I'm not really sure I like this uh, slide here because the images are too small and I seldom use this type of smart art. So let's get started. I'm going to show you two ways of creating smart art. So first, I'm going to start with a list. This is the continuous improvement cycle and I'm going to select it. Then I'm going to right click on my mouse and I'm going to go to convert to smart art. Now you can go to more smart art graphics or if you see the one which you like here you can choose it. I think I'm going to choose this one. And there I've created my smart art. Let's go and we're going to take a look at another one. So here's the DMAIC process. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to select the entire list so everything's in order. I'm going to right click it and I'm going to go convert to smart art. Now you can look and you can go to more smart art graphics or I see the one which I like and it's that one. Now you can see that it's actually not converted it the way that I wanted. The automatic formatting system can't figure out which information should go in the blue box here and which information should go in the white box on the right. So I'm going to undo it and you can see I actually need a sub list. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press enter here and enter and enter and enter and enter. Okay. Now what I need to do is I need to indent this one. So I have a level one bullet and a level two. And I'm going to do the exact same thing here. A little trick here is to press control Y and you repeat the exact same action that you did last time. Okay, now it's going to work. So I'm going to select it all and I'm going to right click and I'll go to convert to smart art and I'll go to this one and there it worked perfectly. So the key is if you have some sort of list that is uh, has two parts to it, you need one to be a level one list and the other to be a sub list. Now let's take a look at another way to create smart art. I have a blank slide here and I'm going to go up to the insert tab and I'm going to click on smart art. Sometimes this is the best way to create smart art, especially if your smart art image is complex. You can see that all of the smart art is listed here, um, but you can see types of smart art. So this is lists, so it puts the information in order, a process, here's a cycle, hierarchy, relationship, and so on. I'm going to choose a hierarchy, and I'm going to choose this smart art here, and it's automatically created. Now let's say I'm going to uh, show the hierarchy for the human resources department. 
so I'm going to write human resources um, and let's say that I don't have this position so I'm going to just click on here and I'm going to delete it and it automatically reformats so let's say that the human resources department is made up of four teams there's the uh, recruiting team training and employee relations so now I need to create my fourth team. So make sure the Smart Art Design tab is open. You can just click on the Smart Art. I can go up here and it can say Add Shape. So let's say I'm going to add shape. It's automatically put it under the one which I had selected, Employee Relations. I want to promote this. I want to make it go higher. So I'm going to go Promote. And now it appears up here. So if you take a look, Promote is it's at the top. I could go Demote and it would go down. Okay, so you can play with those. So now I can enter here uh, safety. And there we go. So now I'm going to just add the names of the team members. So I'm going to click on the recruiting team. And then I'm going to go click add shape. And then I'll type in the team member's name. And I'm going to do the other ones just very quickly. That's all there is to it. So now let's turn to formatting. Formatting is fairly simple. Let's go to the first one. First thing I want to do is I'm going to just close my animation pane. Um, I'm going to click on the smart art. The first thing is this is too small. I'm going to just grab a corner and just drag it. And you can make it as big as you can. Basically, I try to make my smart art as big as possible. I always test inside, like if you click at the text, and you want to see what the font size is. I don't want the font size to be less than 24. So the size looks good to me. Now the next thing is, I might want to change the color. Now there's two ways of changing the color. One is you can go to Smart Art Tools, and then click on Design. And here, if you click on Change Colors, um, you can see some automatic colors, and you can choose whichever one you like. So uh, let's say I'm going to choose that one and I can see if I like that color. Alternatively, just choose one of them and then go to Format. And then you can do Shape Fill and you can change each color one at a time. Uh, and you can change it however you like. So there's many different ways of doing this. Uh, and you can just figure out which one is best for you. We'll take a look at this one here. This one's exactly the same. Uh, the one thing which I might want to do is I might want to edit the text so I could delete the colons inside each one just by backspacing. Um, and uh, other things which I might want to do is I'm going to check my font size. The font size is 23, so that's a bit small. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the corner and I'm going to just increase it. And now I can see if my font size has increased. So now it's 24. Let's take a look at this one. I think this one here, again, I could change the colors. I could change line thicknesses. Let's take a look at how to change line thickness. I'm going to go to Format. I'm going to go to Shape Outline. I'm going to go to Weight. And I can change the weight of it. So maybe to four and a half points. Uh, and you can click on each one and decide how you want to change it. So let's move on to animating. So I've created this smart art here and I like to build complex slides gradually. I don't like all of my information to come up at the same time. So let's go to this slide. I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to go to animations. I always like to have my animation pane open. So what I'm going to click on is I'm going to choose a peer. For me, a peer is an instantaneous animation and it's my first choice. So I'm going to go to a peer. And now let's watch what happens. It's a blank slide and I click once and everything still comes up at the same time. So to make it come up individually, you have to click on this little, go to the animation pane, click on the triangle. 
and then go to effect options. And you can see effect, timing. The last one is called smart art animation. And you have various options for this smart art. You can have it come up as one object or all at once or one by one. I'm going to choose one by one and click OK. So this smart art is actually made up of eight objects, but you can see that there's four mouse clicks and eight animations. Now you can change where the mouse clicks are, um, but right now let's take a look at what this one looks like. So I have the plan circle up. I click my mouse and the next circle and arrow comes up. But do you see how the blue arrow and the green circle comes up at the same time? I don't like it. I want the blue circle and the blue arrow to come up at the same time. Green circle and green arrow to come up at the same time. So I'm going to click on start with previous. And then I could have this one click with start on click. And you'll see that. So now the circle and the arrow will come up at the same time. Let's see. So the circle and arrow comes up at the same time. If I look at the next one, only the circle comes up and then it's arrow and circle. So I could just change it all the way through. Um, so I'm going to go on this one, start with previous. With this one, I'm going to do start on click. With this one, start with previous. And with this one, start on click and you can see what I have here is the blue items are going to come up together green together red together and purple together let's see how that goes um, and plan do check act so let's take a look at the next one so I'm going to click on the smart art object I'm going to go to animations and I'm going to click on add animation and up here and then I'm again I'm going to click on the triangle here and I'll go to effect options and smart art animations. Here you can see a whole bunch of different options. Let's see what those look like. The animation you choose really depends on your script. If you're doing it one by one, there's 10 mouse clicks and each object comes up one at a time. So D, define the goals. M, measure. A, analyze. I, improve. C, control the system. If you do it by level at once, there's only two clicks. So today I'm going to talk about the Demaic process. And then I click my mouse again and all of this text comes up. That's too much text coming up at once for me. By level one by one is the exact same thing, but I got to click my mouse D, M, A, I, C. And then I have to click each one of these one time. Actually, what I would like to do is I would like the Demaic to come up all at once. And then I would like these ones to come up each with a mouse click. So I can change that. I have to change that. I just want to show you the other ones. As one object, everything comes up at once. All at once, everything comes up at once. But actually they're different. Uh, they only look the same because I've used the appear animation. If I use a fly in animation, you'll see that as one object, the whole picture is coming in slowly at the same speed. But if I use all at once animation, ten, 10 different objects are traveling in. And you can see that the D actually had to travel at a faster speed to arrive at the top of the screen in two seconds than the C, which traveled at a slower speed to arrive at this point in two seconds. So let me quickly animate this. I've already chosen a peer for this animation. I'm going to go click the triangle. I'm going to go to effect options smart art animation and I think I'm going to do by level and I could do by level at once or by level one by one let's do by level at once and then I'm going to click OK now that's going to be two clicks so I'm going to go one two but now I want each one of these to come individually I want to see all of the animations so all of these I want them to go on a click so I'm going to press the first one now I'm going to go down to the bottom, press my shift key and press that one. And now I am going to click start on click. So now I can say today I'm going to talk about the Demaic process. Uh, first is define, measure, analyze, improve, control. Really think about your animation because when you're thinking about your animation, you're also thinking about the exact words which you're going to use to describe your story. So let's do this last one really quickly. I click on the smart art. I click add animation. I click up here. Now I need to think about my script. How do I want to tell this story? Do I want to tell it by the level 
or do I want to tell it by the branch each of these teams and you have to make a choice one way or the other so I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click on effect options smart art animation and I think I'm going to tell it by level uh, one by one and okay so now I can tell my story uh, so let me tell you about the human resources department. We have four teams, recruiting, training, employee relations, and safety. And on our recruiting team, we have Tom and Rajinder, training, employee relations, and safety. So when creating your smart art and your animations, really think about your story. Your graphics and your animations should match your script. Mm -hmm.